Now, in tutorial one, we looked at how you would um, import and set up and organize your sources. Our next job is to connect those sources to their demographics. And to do that, we have to do um, we have to work with a concept called case nodes, which in previous versions of Envivo there was a prescribed folder for called case nodes. Now there isn't. Um, it's on the one hand gives us more freedom, but now we have to understand the concept. So to demonstrate the concept, what we're going to do first of all is take our pupils and select them all. So control A to select all or edit select all. And then we're going to right click on the selected sources and we're going to code those or create those sources as nodes. And we're going to set up a people folder just like we did for the pupils and teachers in the first tutorial. Just simply make a new folder for people and we code. Now we can already assign this to a classification set or set of demographics if we have them, but we don't have them yet. So we just apply those to the people. So basically, each of these transcripts is now going to be coded in its entirety to a node. And if we go to our nodes and our people folder, we now have a node for each of our pupils. And we do the same thing for teachers. And that means that the entire transcript is now coded. This is what people said, this is what Site 1 Pupil 1 said in their interview. But we don't yet have it connected to who they are. And who they are is a classification, which we can import or we can create. In this case, we're going to create. And we're going to create a node classification. We can make source classifications. This will be, for example, if you're going to do your lit review in, in vivo or connect with EndNote, you might put things like author's name, publication date, etc. But for nodes, this is about people, so we make a new classification. And we'll select the standard person one, although we could make our own which already has certain fields or values already assigned to it. And of course we can add in new one if we want to customize that by putting in, for example, a year in school. So we can quite easily add our own attributes and give them the values. Fifth class. We can add another one. Sixth class, for example. If we now go back to our nodes, and we can now, maybe we should select all of these, pardon me, if we select all of these, we can assign a classification. We now have a person classification, which we can assign, which means that for each of our pupils, we now have a demographic. This just takes a second while and Vivo assigns them. And now if we look at our uh, node properties, we can see that these values are now here. And for each case, we should assign a value. If we don't have values already assigned, we can at any point go, for example, to any of these values and simply add new ones. So this is gender, male, and female. And then when we go back to our cases, we can then assign the values against the case. So effectively, site one, pupil one's case node, or people node, or person node, contains everything he said. And this, the properties of the node contain who he is. And this allows us to fully integrate both quantitative and qualitative data for the purpose of driving queries and asking very sophisticated questions later on of the data. So when we have data coded, we can get an instance analysis in any of the intangibles, such as attitudes and beliefs that we have coded against the theme. We can then get an age group and a, a gender and a country definition against the group of people who we selected to be coded in that node. This makes for very sophisticated layers of analysis, which we look at later on in the next tutorial when we talk about coding.